Okay, so these are the basic components for the Arducopter standard long range 7 inch build. Not all of the components, uh, some more arriving tomorrow. But I wanted to start, I've got the frame, which is the main thing, uh, and I wanted to start um, putting together the frame so that I can figure out where everything goes, which is an important part of building a copter. Um, and I wanted to just sort of get the, the initial, the unboxing experience, as it were, down on video before I sort of ripped everything up and uh, 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 started putting it together. So. Um, these are the sort of I've got bits coming from everywhere. I've got motors coming from China and uh, other bits coming from elsewhere. But uh, what I have today is I've got the the uh, this is the T motor F fifty five A Pro two the F three version. So they've sort of upgraded the original F fifty five A Pro two uh, with F three um, uh, MCUs. Uh, so that's 4 in 1 ESC. Uh, I've got a Matec GPS. Um, got the TBS uh, Unified Pro 32HV VTX. Um, we've we'll got another one coming tomorrow. And then uh, flight controller, I've got the Lumenier Lux HDH7. And this is basically identical logically to the Matec H743 Slim, same form factor, but slightly different PCB layout, uh, slightly different component selection, but uh, sort of logically and software wise it's the same, but it comes in a nice white color, so there we go. And in a very small box, a smaller box, they've seen for a uh, flight control of that uh, power. And this is the frame, this is the uh, iFlight Titan Chimera 7 frame kit comes in a nice white box and uh, as you can see all very crammed in there <laughs> it's it's actually a really really nice frame very very strong these are six millimeter arms so I mean you know <laughs> you could probably hang on those and they wouldn't break um, it's got a uh, three millimeter base plate, but the three millimeter base plate comes in sort of a two part sandwich. And so you've actually got, again, six millimeters in the middle. Uh, so the, in the middle bit, you've got 12 millimeters of carbon fiber. So that's going to be pretty strong. And then I think the top plate is, is uh, two millimeters. Um, so very, very nicely designed frame, lots of TPU print, uh, um, 3D printed components uh, to place the antenna and that sort of stuff. Um, the only downside is the instructions are really cool. I mean, th this is literally it. These are the instructions. It's like a, an exploded view um, and uh, no assembly instructions. Just clear all the bits and then this is kind of where they go. Uh, I've searched online, I can't find anything, I can't find any assembly videos. I think people mainly buy these currently as R RTF kits. But the problem with the RTF kit is it doesn't have the right flight controller and it won't run RG Pilot. And there's a few other things that we'd sort of like to change in there. So I'm, I'm actually building this from a kit with carefully selected components that work are known to work well with uh, RG Copter. Uh, and um, we're going to build this, so I'm going to build this, I'm going to tune it, configure it, and uh, um, hopefully get some good flight, flights and flight time out of it. And the purpose of this is so that other people can do this. So we, um, especially smaller copters, people have a hard time, I don't know about building them, I, I, you know, I, I see the success stories, so I think people build them okay, but there are some tricky things that you have to uh, be aware of when you build for uh, RG copters, especially with small copters. But people have a really hard time tuning smaller copters and RG, um, for, for RG copter, which is kind of understandable. It is a little, it is a little hard. It's got a lot better recently, um, and uh, 
in terms of what can be tuned, although the ease of tuning is probably not great still. And, and so this is, um, uh, this is a way of people being able to build successfully a type of copter. Um, and get it flying and not have to ask a million questions on the forum. So my plan is I'm going to build this, I'm going to tune it, obviously publish, publishing the build spec, I'm going to publish the config, publish the tune, uh, and so anybody who tries this after me, um, and someone else is trying this as well, uh, should have a much, much easier time. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've not built this before, it might go horribly wrong, but I, I'm hoping not. <laughs>